Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Martina and this is the secret craft room. In today's video I'm going to show you how I made these festive candy Christmas trees. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I used these large thick papers to create two skinny cones, one taller than the other. I used regular tape to hold the shape. For the trunk I decided to use these wooden dowels. Unfortunately I only have scrap pieces left so I had to glue them together. I made the trunk longer for the taller tree. Next I traced the bottom of each cone onto thick cardboard and cut it out. I also made a hole in the center of each piece. Then I cut out two larger circles from thick cardboard for the bases. I also cut out the same from thinner cardboard. I made a hole in the center of the thick cardboard pieces. Next I added the smaller cardboard pieces to the dowels and glued everything in place. Next I glued the thin cardboard pieces to the thicker cardboard pieces and then I glued the dowel to the base. Then I covered the base with a thick layer of clay. I used an old nail brush to add texture. I used white glue to help the clay stick.
Next I rolled out two long pieces of clay and added it to the trunk to look like a candy cane. I like to use water to soften the clay and make it easier to work with. Sometimes I also dip my clay tools in water. Next I covered the underside of the cone with clay and also the rest of the cone. Then I added some clay where the trunk and base meet to look like icing. Then I rolled out two long pieces of clay again, then I twisted them together and added it around the base. I added more white glue to make sure it would stick properly. I counted the parts to make sure that the pattern lined up.
Then I let everything dry completely. Next I rolled out some clay and used my craft knife to cut strips of it. Then I used my clay tool to make lines along the strips. This is supposed to look like candy belts. Then I sort of folded the strip over itself and added it to the cone. I also added a little bit of clay to the bottom edge of the cone to help shape it a bit. When I was happy with the placement, I blended the top part of the strip to the cone to make sure it would stay in place. Then I added more of these all around the cone. For the next row I tried to add the strips in between the ones on the row below. This won't work for every piece since the cone gets smaller and smaller. For the next row I started where the pieces were placed right above each other and put the new piece in between those. Then I repeated this all the way to the top. For the last row I didn't blend the top of the pieces the same way. I carefully blended just the very top of it sort of over the tip of the cone. You want the edge of the fake candies to show before the top row. Next I shaped a flat round piece of clay and added it to the top of the tree. I blended all the edges together to make sure that it was secure, then I used my clay tool to create lines between the candy belts and the top candy to make it look as real as possible.
Then I let everything dry completely. Next it was time to paint. I started with a base coat of green acrylic paint to the candy belts. I added some water to my paint to make it thinner and easier to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Once dry I painted every other row of belts with a darker green shade. Next I added a light brown to the textured part of the base. Then I painted the candy cane parts red and white and the top candy red and the icing white. Then I added white to the top candy to make it look like a peppermint. Once completely dry I added a coat of Mod Podge and sprinkled iridescent glitter on top to look like sugar. I made this in sections so that the Mod Podge wouldn't dry before adding the glitter.
When the Mod Podge had dried completely, I used a hard brush to brush off as much excess glitter as possible. A tip is to spray the pieces with hairspray once they are finished. If you seal in the glitter with Mod Podge, it won't look like sugar. I always spray these kinds of pieces with a couple of coats of hairspray when they're done and also when I unbox them every year. The last thing I did was to glue a piece of red felt to the bottom of the trees and they were all done. Please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you watched this far please leave a Christmas tree emoji in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.